Hello, this is Marco Vogt from www.houseinvestigations.com. This is a short story called The Duckless Return in the Vented Crawl Space. Once upon a time, there was an older gentleman who sold his home. The potential home buyer hired a home inspector. The Ohio cold weather zone home had a very large vented crawl space with seven vents to the exterior. The home inspector told the potential home buyer that these vents were very low to the ground and when it rained, water would enter into the crawl space. This trapped water would evaporate into the crawl space and cause condensation, mold, and house musty odors. The home inspector also told the prospective home buyer that vented crawl spaces in cold weather zones such as Cleveland, Ohio would permit cold air to enter during the winter permitting house floors to be cold and during the summer it would permit hot moist air to cause condensation and rusting of the HVAC ductwork. This was obvious because the past homeowners had already replaced some of the rusted deteriorated ductwork and left metal ductwork to breeze throughout this crawl space. Furthermore, the home had 35 year old rusted flu modified furnace that was located in this wet, musty, moldy crawl space that did not have connected cold air returns. Open cold air returns means that the furnace sucks air from the crawl space and from all the seven exterior crawl space vents and not from the upper home. This means if the cat pees in the mulch, you'll smell the cat pee in the bedroom. The furnace flue is also modified with a homemade fan to suck combustion fumes and possible carbon monoxide up the chimney because the furnace flue is too long and the cold air returns were not connected to the upper home causing major basement crawl space negative pressure. In other words, the crawl space sucks. The home inspector told his clients that this was a bad design and it would make the home smell musty and cost a lot of money to heat and cool. The client asked the homeowner to repair these crawl space conditions prior to the sale of this home. The home seller responded and stated that the home inspector was wrong on several items and disagreed with the home inspector's conclusions. This disgruntled homeowner stated that the home inspector, who has inspected over 14,000 homes in the last 25 years, did not know what he was talking about and did not know the difference between ducted and non-ducted HVAC cold air return systems. He stated that there was nothing wrong with his non-ducted cold air return system. The homeowner further stated that this home inspector was very reckless, ignorant, and unprofessional for making comments about his very nice house. Finally, the homeowner said he was not going to fix or repair the crawl space and there was nothing wrong with his house. The prospective home buyer decided he did not want to deal with this homeowner nor did he want to deal with his homeowner's crawl space. So three days later, he found another home which he bought. So what did we learn, boys and girls? Cold air returns must be 100% sealed and must be connected to the upper home. Vented crawl spaces are not desirable in Ohio homes or cold weather climate zones. Vented crawl spaces should be conditioned crawl spaces which would include sealing up the exterior vents, adding 100% sealed insulation around the perimeter walls, adding a 100% sealed vapor barrier on the floor, heating, cooling, and most importantly, dehumidifying. Finally, there are many homes for sale and you do not have to deal with unreasonable sellers. The end. This has been Very Short Stories by Marco Volk at www.houseinvestigations.com. Please rate and subscribe. Marco can also be found on Facebook and on YouTube under the name Cleveland Marco.